We have one more initial value problem. This time we have one with the trig function. And again, we have a second derivative. We're going to take the antiderivative of both sides, dr squared over d squared r, I should say, over d theta squared. And then we're going to do the antiderivative of this one. And don't forget to put d theta here this time because it's got to match the variable that you have there. We talked about before that if you take the antiderivative of the second derivative, then you're going to get the first derivative here. So we're going to get dr d theta. On this side, we want to take the antiderivative of sine of five theta. That uses a formula we talked about at the beginning of this section. The k value is five, so that's going to turn into a one fifth. And then if we integrate sine, uh, we're going to get cosine, and that's going to be a negative. Also, we have plus c. We're going to use this information to plug in to find the c value. R prime of zero, so one is going to go on the left hand side, and then I have cosine of five times zero plus c. So what will happen there is cosine of zero is one, so I get one equals negative one fifth plus c. If I add the one fifth to both sides, I'll get one and one fifth, which is the same thing as six fifths. So we know that when we rewrite this, now I can get my exact uh, first derivative solution. It's going to be negative one fifth cosine of five theta and then plus six fifths that we got from solving this for c. We got the, the first derivative. We're going to integrate both sides. So we're going to take the antiderivative and that's going to allow us to get back to the original function. So negative one fifth cosine five theta plus six fifths. And again, don't forget that there's d theta on the end over here. This is going to give us r of theta when we uh, integrate the first derivative. I have negative one fifth, and then I want to integrate cosine of five theta. That's using a formula also. That formula is one over k times sine of k times theta. So I have another one fifth that's going to come on the outside here. That's going to turn into a sine of five theta. And then I have a six fifths theta. Don't forget that there's got to be a theta brought on this one. Whenever you take an antiderivative of a constant, you're going to get the variable that's going to come out of that as well. So finally, we can say that r theta is negative one twenty-fifth sine of five theta plus six fifths theta plus c. And then we're just going to put this last piece of information in here. R of zero equals six. Do that over here. And we'll, we'll be able to get our exact solution. The six is going to go in on the left hand side. So I have six equals negative one twenty-fifth cos or sine or sine of five times zero because that's the theta value inside there. Zero and then plus six fifths and zero goes in there uh, plus c. Solving this, uh, sine of zero is zero. So we get a zero for this whole part here plus zero again plus c. That means that our c equals six and we're ready to write our final solution now. Negative one twenty-fifth sine of five theta plus six fifths theta plus six. This would be your exact solution that has all these particular characteristics.